Okay, so uh, a few years ago, I took my grandson to the zoo. And <laughs> we had a great time and I uh, took some photographs. And afterwards, I was kind of thinking about th that experience and uh, thought, well, what can you learn uh, by going to the zoo about how to change your life? So uh, these are some concepts to remember, or to think about. So here's this picture of this, uh, it's actually a bobcat uh, sleeping, a little, probably about oh, maybe less than a week old. So what can we learn from this? So no matter how uh, old you are or how smart you think you are or what kind of experiences you've had, you really don't know very much about this process of change that you're engaged in right now. So uh, give yourself time and the right attitude so you can learn this process because it's very, going to be very important for you. So we're here we have this picture of this animal. I'm not sure what he is. And he's obviously on the hunt for, for something. He seems pretty intent on finding it. And a lot of times uh, we get very focused on finding it, whatever it is, the job, the girlfriend, winning the lottery, whatever, whatever uh, you know, uh, the next hit, uh, and something that we think is going to fulfill us either momentarily or longer than that. And remember, you have to enjoy the process, you know, of growing and changing. Enjoy the trip. Don't just get focused completely on the destination. Uh, and uh, that will make this a much more memorable and much more meaningful experience for you going forward. So here we have a giraffe, obviously the tallest animal in the zoo. And what can the giraffe teach us? Well. The giraffe can uh, remind us to kind of get the overview, to get our heads out of the details, out of the weeds of uh, daily uh, anxieties, uh, you know, the, the worries about what's happened yesterday and what's going to happen tomorrow. And it kind of prevents us from really looking forward, you know, where are we actually going? You know, so it's really important to start thinking, where do I want to be in a year? Where do I want to be in five years? So that we kind of get out of the daily uh, details, some of which are great and some of which are melancholy and disturbing. And really, we are focusing on, well, this is, this is kind of where I'm heading in my life. So here we have a picture of a rhinoceros a very, very powerful animal. Definitely did not want to be in his enclosure with him. Uh, and what can this guy teach us? Well, one thing, uh, being armored alone and with your back up against the wall is very safe, but not a great lifestyle, <laughs> okay? So in order to change, and, and a lot of us live this way, you know, completely armored and, you know, who's going to, you know, get us and we're protected and we're... In order to change, in order to really be part of this process, you got to engage. You have to get involved. You have to get out of your comfort zone and shed your armor, be vulnerable, uh, and be honest. You can't change if you don't take any risks. Uh, and you came here to change. So get in, a, get in a position where you can. So here we have uh, an animal. I'm not sure what he is, but he was zonked. He was, <laughs> he was completely oblivious to everything around him. I'm assuming it's a him. And so uh, what's the lesson here? So the lesson is uh, you really can't learn if you're not paying attention. You know, sleep learning is highly overrated. Uh, we call uh, everybody at Amity, 
either students or faculty. We call you students because we want you to learn. And learning is an active process. It's not a passive process. You've got to really engage. You have to do. Uh, we can provide the setting, but we can't provide your intelligence, your enthusiasm, your passion. Uh, that's something that's got to come from you. And so 90% of what happens at Amity is really up to you. There's a Latin phrase, to a mest. It is up to you. We can provide a setting where it can happen, uh, but we can't provide the internal dynamics that you bring to the learning experience. So here we have a beautiful leopard uh, looking at us, and he looks pretty fierce. So he can teach us to be fearless. Being fearless uh, in a therapeutic community means something different. It means your willingness to be really honest, more honest than you've ever been in your life. And that is pretty scary. You know, we all are guarded in some ways or another. We're all kind of afraid to be laughed at, isolated, criticized. Uh, uh, and so we hide a lot of who we are or what we've done. And in that hiding, we keep ourselves in the same place and unable to change, unable to really share our experience with others and get their feedback. So you have to kind of acknowledge who you really are, not just who you'd like people to think you are. Uh, you need to be willing to talk about things that you've always been ashamed of, or afraid of saying because of what other people would think about you or say about you. This is a safe community. And we want to make it safe for every single person to say those things they've been unwilling to say and face those fears they've been unwilling to face. So here we have a beautiful parrot. I actually have one in my house. It looks just like this. Very flashy, very gorgeous. And so what can he tell us? Well, this is about, don't worry so much about how you look on the outside. Uh, whether you're beautiful, flashy, and pretty, like this beautiful parrot, or because if you, if you were thinking all the time about how you look on the outside, you're not really working on how you are on the inside. And we want to start a process for you at Amity where you're kind of growing from the inside out. Your own personal integrity is what you really need to worry about. And what is really the kind of thing that will, you will have relationships with people that are really meaningful and sustainable uh, over months and years not based on how you look on the outside, but on what you, who you really are on the inside. And that's the way these genuine, meaningful friendships really start. Sometimes looking good on the outside can prevent you from doing the work you need to do on the inside. So here we have a cheetah, the world's fastest animal. And what we can learn here is even the world's fastest runner needs to sit down sometimes and think, sort of think things through and figure things out. So the question is, you know, if you've been uh, a runner, are you running towards something? Or have you been running away from something your whole life? Okay. Uh, it's time to really sit down and think about that one. Because if you've been running and you're running in the wrong direction, you're not really going where you want to go. So slow down and think about it. Uh, that's what we can provide in this community, is an opportunity for you to really think through, where am I going? And is running or walking the best way to get there? Here we have a beautiful bald eagle, America's symbol. 
and uh, unusual. Usually the pictures of these beautiful birds, they're airborne with their wings all stretched out. This guy is just sitting here, looking fantastic, but he's sitting. So you've been flying high, maybe really high, <laughs> and this is a good time to get your feet on the ground. Okay. Because if you're not grounded, if you're not grounded in who you really are, where you really are in your life, where you are in your relationships, then when you're flying, you're completely disconnected from reality. Here we have a great lion <laughs> with a huge yawn. Okay, <laughs> So obviously he is bored by the proceedings. And a lot of people complain, well, I'm bored, you know. So I want to give you a solution for boredom. Call a circle. Go in and be completely honest about what you think and feel. Talk honestly and in detail about your going to the grave issues, the ones you said you would never talk about. And Thirdly, make a commitment to be there 100% for another person in the community. If you do those three things, you'll never be bored. Boredom a lot of time just means you're disengaged. So here's a picture of an elephant, beautiful animal. And you can tell he's not a baby, been around for a while. My guess is this elephant from looking at is probably, you know, 50. And so contrary to popular opinion, getting older does not guarantee you're any smarter. There are as many old fools as there are young fools. So the only way we get smarter is through our actions, through really engaging with other people, and by being honest. Time is not a solution. Here's a beautiful peacock. I remember as a kid, my mom taking me to a park in uh, Seattle, and there were all these gorgeous peacocks. I was just completely mesmerized as a kid uh, by how incredibly beautiful they are. But again, this kind of repeats an earlier slide. Most of it gets stuck on outside experiences, but it's really who you are and the friends you make using who you are on the inside that really makes a difference in your life. This is a picture which is pretty amusing. A hippopotamus who's having his tongue scratched. <laughs> pretty dangerous, I'd say, <laughs> given what I know about hippopotamuses. And so the message there is no matter who you are, <laughs> no matter what you look like, there is somebody who wants to be your friend and will, and will engage with you. So don't give up. <laughs> and here we have two giant tortoises, magnificent animals. And one is kind of right on the tail of the other one. So the lesson here is uh, some of us are fast, some of us are slow. These turtles are obviously uh, a lot slower than the cheetah. But no matter who you are, you need somebody who, behind you who will kind of, uh, in this case, bite you on the tail or nudge you on, uh, to, to keep going. Okay? We all need that in our lives. And one of the things that a community provides is when we slow down because we're stuck or because we're afraid, those friendships that we make in community are the ones who come along and push us. And we all need that push. And finally, this is a picture I, I took uh, in Death Valley a few years back. Uh, right out of my car window, there's this coyote standing there. And it was like, take my picture. I said, OK. He just stood there for you know, 10 minutes while we took several pictures of him. And, and then he trotted off. So really, the lesson is it can be pretty tough you know, when you uh, leave Amity and you're outside of this safe community <clears throat> where people really care about you and, and have your best interest at heart, it can be pretty tough and it can be pretty lonely. So use your time while you're in this community 
to learn how to be really strong, not appear to be strong, but strong from the inside, you know. And that, you do that by being absolutely, fearlessly honest uh, and building those really strong friendships so that you really know, you know, you've talked about friends before, but you didn't really have friends before in the way that you are learning how to build friendships now. A friend is somebody who will really stick with you through thick and thin. And a really good friend is somebody who'll tell you when you're slipping. Will not just kind of, you know, grease the skids for you to, uh, to return to some really terrible behavior. They'll see you right at the beginning and say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, even if that makes you mad. That's a friend, a friend who will tell you the truth even when you don't want to hear it, but won't abandon you, will stick with you. Uh, that's the kind of friendships that we need throughout our lives. Uh, and that's, if you haven't had that in your life, and, and, and most of you haven't, this is the place where you can have them, where you learn how to build those friendships. Um, so you have that, and that is probably the most important thing. And that's, why do we call it amity? Amity is from the Latin word amicus, which means friend. Amistad in Spanish, amity in French, and amity in English is all about those vital relationships that when we have nothing, if we have friends, we have everything. And when we have everything and have friends, we have nothing. And have no friends, we have nothing.